subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. Creating a custom loss function in PyTorch allows you to define a unique loss metric tailored for your specific task or model. Let's create a tutorial on how to implement a custom loss function in PyTorch with a code example. Start by importing the necessary libraries. PyTorch is the core library we'll be using. Let's create a custom loss function by subclassing nn.module and implementing a forward method. For this example, let's create a mean squared error loss with an additional scaling factor. In this example, custom MSE loss is a subclass of nn.module. The forward method computes the mean squared error, MSE, loss between the predicted and target tensors and scales it by the scale factor. Let's create a simple neural network model for demonstration purposes. We'll use this model to showcase the usage of the custom loss function. Now, let's train our simple model using the custom loss function, custom MSE loss. In this code, we initialize our model, define an optimizer, SGD in this case, and execute a simple training loop for a specified number of epochs. Inside the loop, we compute the output from the model, calculate the custom loss using our defined custom loss function, perform backpropagation, and update the model's weights using the optimizer. Creating custom loss functions in PyTorch allows flexibility in defining unique loss metrics tailored for specific tasks. You can modify and extend this example to suit your particular use case by adjusting the model architecture, loss function, optimizer, and data processing steps. Remember, when creating your custom loss function, consider the task requirements and the characteristics of your data to design an effective loss metric. Feel free to adapt and expand upon this tutorial to create custom loss functions suited to your specific needs. ChatGPT